Hello from Waves and hello from SlideNerd. What's up folks? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to add fragments in Java. Now this is the only place in Android where the Java approach is preferred over the XML approach. The reason? User clicks on a button or user gets an event from some service. You want to make sure that the user is able to change his UI at runtime dynamically in code and that's why adding fragments in Java is more important than XML. Unfortunately, the concept is a little tricky because we need to understand certain things before we start adding fragments in Java. One being the fragment manager. Every activity has its own fragment manager. Now this fragment manager is a guy responsible for maintaining references to all the fragments present inside the activity. You can access one of the fragments by saying find fragment by ID or find fragment by tag and get a reference to that particular fragment. Second one being fragment transactions. If you're a database developer, you probably heard the words atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability, or more properly called asset properties. The same way, the act of adding, removing, replacing fragments to an activity are considered as transactions in Android and managed by an object called fra fragment transaction. So now let's see how the transactions work. You have an activity. You have its, it has its own fragment manager. Fragment manager begins a transaction. Once the transaction has begun, you can add, remove, replace, whatever you want. And then when you commit the transaction, the user sees all the changes. Make sense? So begin a transaction, add, remove, replace stuff, and then commit the transaction. And this is how things are performed. Now you probably are wondering that why don't you simply have an add method that says add the fragment to your activity. The reason is most of the times you're not going to use a single fragment inside your activity. You will be dealing with several fragments. So based on say the user interaction, you want to most likely perform changes in several fragments at one time. Either all the changes should take place or all the changes should be aborted. Sounds familiar? That's why you have fragment transactions in Android. So how to make a fragment? Now let's go to our main topic create a class that extends fragment create a separate layout file that contains the appearance a fragment is just like a mini activity so it needs its own layout if you plan to display a fragment having a layout of course you can have fragments which don't have a layout either then use the on create view method to link the appearance to the object i've discussed about this method in my life cycle video or fragments please go back and check it if you guys haven't seen it get a reference to the fragment manager by saying fragment manager is get fragment manager begin a transaction by calling manager dot begin transaction this gives a reference to the fragment transaction object which is responsible for doing all the activities like add remove replace and stuff so now you can say transaction dot add it takes three parameters one the ID of the layout inside which you want to add your fragment to the object of the fragment itself which you're supposed to initialize and three a string that is going to be useful to identify the fragment later when you call find fragment by tag and once that is done just commit the transaction and you're done so in the next video I'm going to go to Android studio and show you guys how this thing is actually done in code in the meantime if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.